Right. I suggest we begin by learning what we can from the sentries. What's going on out there? Travellers, are you? You may wish to postpone your plans. The Garleans have launched an attack on the Confederacy. We have no reason to believe they'll turn their attention here, but for your own safety, I suggest you return to Kugane. The Garleans bear no love for the Confederacy, but with Doma lost to them, why would they attack? Unless... Unless Yotsugu is on that island. Even if she isn't, our allies are under attack and they need our help. We will help them while you remain with Soroban. Arguing will only delay us. Is that clear? Fine, but you haven't heard the last of this. Soroban, we may need to make a swift exit. See that the boat is ready to sail at a moment's notice. It shall be done. What, and you're going to swim there, are you? Tis the quickest way, and you may rest assured I've been practicing. An opening. Your defense is lacking. Leave this to me.
Lady Yotsuyu, we're here to rescue you. Please, come with us. Stay back, Tsuyu. <coughs> Are you all right? Is he all right? Gozetsu! Damn it! We took too long. Change of plan. Eliminate hostiles! All forces! Attack!
The art of my forebears. Focus. Release! Gosetsu, thank the heavens! <laughs> Yugiri, my friends, the Kami were kind to guide your steps this way. It's over. The Imperials are retreating. I suppose we have you to thank for that. But they would never have come here were it not for her. I had a bad feeling the moment your samurai friend arrived with that woman in tow. Do not be afraid, Suyu. These people are my friends. Friends? Forgive me, but at the risk of souring the mood, I believe you owe us an explanation. You may start by telling us what happened at Doma Castle. Of course. I'll not begrudge you that. As you know, we were trapped inside the keep when it collapsed. But even as the roof crumbled above us, so too did the floor below. We were swept out into the one river, where we would surely have drowned had a stout wooden door not chanced to float by, offering us a raft of sorts. Exhausted, we drifted out to sea, at the mercy of the tides, which saw fit to dispense us on a desert island. She was with you the entire time. Aye. T'was her kimono which saved her from Hian's blade, believe it or not. Some Galian witchcraft in the weave. But it offered precious little protection against the fall. Though she survived, she awoke bereft of all her memories and speaking like a child. A trick, surely. That was my first thought, I. And I contemplated cutting her down and being done with it. Contemplated it long and hard. Yet the Kami saw fit to deliver us from certain death. T'was their will that we survive, both of us, together. And together, we shall go before our master. He shall be the one to judge. Judge what? She's your prisoner, old man. Do with her as you will. Call her Tsuyu, or whatever else tickles your fancy. T'was a name given out of necessity whilst on the road. Nothing more. As you say. 
But remember this. Our people suffered much at that woman's hands. When the time comes, I trust you won't let emotion blind you to what needs to be done. You have my word. Well, I must be going. I have an unholy mess to clean up. You should be on your way too, before the Imperials decide to take another tilt. Oh, and we'll overlook the tithe this once. You're welcome. <laughs>